Look at this. I got headphones <laughs> on. I got a mic going. <laughs> Baby. Huh? If only people could see you now. <laughs> hey, no video. We've gone through this before. All right, no all video. right, all right. <laughs> Welcome to This Commerce Life. This is a podcast aimed at small, medium entrepreneurs focused on commerce. I'm Phil, your host, and Kenny, your co-host, will join us as well. And we're going to talk to you about the world of retail and commerce and how things are changing in the world. I don't know how good my connection is going to be because I got two rockheads in the house playing, uh, what do you call that? Fortnite. Fortnite. Fortnite? Fortnite. Fortnite. I can't hear you. Oh, sorry. Uh, there you go. You hear me? Yeah. I hear you now. Yeah. 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 It's Fortnite. Yeah. Playing Fortnite. Honestly. There's a new, um, not that you care, but there's a new game in it. So, uh, yeah, my, 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 my daughter was all over it. Oh, dad, we got to play. So I played with her, um, <clears throat> earlier tonight too. So yeah. God, I don't know how to play these games. Huh? <laughs> all, all I know is they take up all the bandwidth in the yeah. house. So really. <laughs> they do. They do. Yeah. 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 Hey, it is what it is. It is, yeah. what it is. Yeah. I saw pictures. Uh, you guys got uh, Winter Wonderland, eh? Yeah, yeah. We got uh, we got snow. We got um, ten centimeters. I was gonna say it looks like a couple, three, four yeah. inches. Holy yeah, shit. yeah, 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 yeah. It um, earlier today, literally, we had nothing. It was green. Uh, so, oh, that's those that picture of some later afternoon. Yeah, yeah. So, so like four o'clock this afternoon, it was still wow. green here. And then what it looks like now, now it's, it's like white. Well, white. I saw the picture yeah. you posted on Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. So that's tonight. I thought, Holy that's, that's moly, tonight. man. Um, and then I wonder if I've got a little video, I think from earlier this afternoon. And I got a buddy trying to leave New York. It's pictures from the airport. Just snow. Sorry, friend. Grab a blanket and a bench. Yeah. And your bench. You're sleeping there tonight. I, um, I hate, New York. I've I've slept on those stupid LaGuardia benches more more times than I care to. Yeah, uh, I think a lot of people have done that. You know, it's funny. I've always been lucky. I've I've yeah. um that one toy show because yeah. toy shows usually on uh, uh, during Valentine's. Yeah. Um, there was one toy show we weren't too sure. We thought, nah, this could be could be dicey. Yeah. And yeah, we got out. I think the day after though, they were stuck for two days. Man. And we flew out of New York at that time. <clears throat> um, let me see if I can get. So that's. Wait, let me. I'm gonna pause it right no, the there. Picture was crazy. The picture was. I thought, wow. Can you see that? So see how green it is there. That Holy was this shit, afternoon. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then let me find uh, because because all the audience has no idea what we're talking about, but well, because the audience would be thinking, okay, I don't know these two, you know. Well, mind you, we've set the bar so low, it really yeah. doesn't matter. <laughs> <clears throat> and, and then this is the picture I posted that Kenny's talking about. So if you didn't see oh, that, yeah. what like, a difference, man! Yeah, there's, difference. there's like almost ten centimeters. There's actually even more snow than that right now out there. So because um, I was taking early evening, so yeah, yeah. It's, Are you still doing? Yeah. We still doing video. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're you posting. Still post, I haven't checked in yeah. YouTube in a while. Seriously. Eh? Yeah, yeah, we're doing it. We're doing yeah, it. We it's, haven't uh, got banned yet. No, we haven't gotten banned. I was, I was actually <laughs> following all the rules about swearing, um, and then I, you know, and then and then I checked the rules again. They said, ah, nobody really cares. So we don't, we don't get a lot of views. So we got, um, so when Laura Dunkley was on, we had fourteen views. Um, and then, uh, like a month ago when we were talking about being buyers, it was like seven views. Um, you know, so we don't get a lot, but the SEO seems to help us cause it's kind of bumped our search rankings and stuff like that. So no, I'm not surprised. I think Google likes YouTube, right? Yeah. 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 It's just, it's all the hashtags and the keyword terms, yeah. and all that stuff. So yeah, yeah. that's okay. It's good. What's our audiences like these days? Are we getting anywhere? We're, uh, we're actually holding steady right now. So we kind of like, we peaked out a little bit and then uh, we're holding steady, but downloads are really good still. Um, we get over, um, we average about 100 and, 150 downloads an episode. Yeah, that's not too, too bad. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. Um, I don't know what it says about the 150 people downloading, uh, but uh, for uh, us, it's not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> Linda Webb, we thank you for downloading 149, 149 times. <laughs> 
Oh shit! But but okay, so there an episode goes by without Linda's name being mentioned somewhere in the episode. <laughs> oh my god! If she has, to, <laughs> if we ever get to a decent sized audience, that woman is going to have a freaking cult following. <laughs> Start her own company. Everything. Be... That's awesome. So so our followers. So so we get. Uh, we're mostly Canadian. Uh, we have a U.S. following. We have, we have a, a really steady Japanese following. Um, That's surprising. I wonder what that. You know. No idea. Like honestly, if you're from Japan and, and you're listening to us, we love you. Um, like reach out or something. Maybe just tell us who you are. Um, we'd love to know. We've the other top downloads for us right now: France, Netherlands, United Kingdom. I get this one. This one's uh, we Morocco used to be next, but they've dropped down the list. So whoever you are in Morocco, please come back and <laughs> listen to us. Um, you know, because you know, like because you got nothing else to do. You got nothing else to do in Morocco of all places, right? But I mean, we, seriously. Have, we have people from um, Lesotho. Um, so L E S O T H O Lesotho um, listening to us, which is uh, I don't know how that works exactly. <clears throat> Um. Yeah. So this yeah, it's, I'm just I'm just more curiosity. Yeah. Ideally, yeah, what you yeah. hope you're doing is hope you're helping somebody. Yeah. 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 So right. Lesotho is in South Africa. Oh, it's near, it's near Swaziland. Yeah. Isn't that? Uh, interesting? Not, it's sort of near Swaziland. Anyway. Um. Yeah. So you know, like it's it's kind of a, an interesting list. And uh, Spain, Italy, Portugal are all in there. Hong Kong is in there as well, which is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah. Man. Um, our favorite topic, Black Friday's coming up. Oh, geez, I know. Yeah. You doing any laptop. shopping? I need a laptop. Yeah. Yeah. I do, but you know what it is? I mean, I've got this, I bought this Toshiba off a of buddy, but it's it's one of those, uh, like, what not, uh, it's not one of the tough books, an ultralight or something. Okay. Yeah. I that don't know. The hell it was making you cranky in Asia. Right, I guess it's made me cranky kind of, all over the world. Yeah, because you're you're yeah pretty. Because well, you know what, it was hard to use it to make Apple. the trip back. <laughs> yeah, it almost did it. Yeah. It almost went right out the freaking window. Uh, right, but you know what it is? It's it's the weight of it is awesome. Mm. Right, it's mm-hmm. so light. Mm-hmm. So I'm looking for another. Um, I, I need. I want an ultralight. So I've been going yeah. through and looking at the reviews. Yeah. And the price yeah. is expensive. Yeah, yeah. two grand on a laptop seems so. So 1990s. Two grand is a lot. That's I mean, what I think. For the specs you need, you should be able to land in the 700-ish. Not in the light uh, side. Like I, I want something under. I want something under three pounds. I don't want a five pounder. Okay. Okay. So and honestly, when you start getting under the three pound lithium ultralights, mm-hmm. you know, like you know, I, I don't know if I want to go Hawaii. Huawei. Yeah. A Huawei. Nice phones. I can't remember. I can't remember. Yeah. Huawei. Huawei. Yeah. I, I don't know if I want to, if I want to chance myself on that. So then if you're looking at the Dells or you're looking at Listen, these, I mean, they're, they're, the Chinese need you know, your spreadsheets just like everybody else. So, you know, yeah, that's what I'm worried about. <laughs> <laughs> there might be something in there that the Chinese get my spreadsheets. <laughs> whether, I like them or, whether I'm sharing them or not. Uh, can you imagine? <laughs> yeah, Huawei, I someone, someone in Huawei going, what the hell are all these Excel spreadsheets are costing? What looking at it. What the fuck is this guy pricing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some spy network oh, thinking, oh, look God. at all this information. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. So funny. Be awesome. Who is Linda Webb? <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell is Linda Webb? <laughs> Oh shit, Kenny! Uh, awesome. Linda, what better? Yeah, she could get arrested next time she goes to China. Like, oh, we know you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we know you. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, the infamous Linda Webb. <laughs> oh, lovely. Oh, Honestly, so, what's going on? Man. Um, what's shaking? I don't know, man. Crap! It's like, uh, you know what? I I know what's going on. This week, I am doing. Keywords, 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 more keywords. I'm teaching like, you know, like I think I'm killing the kids with it, right? Because I'm, uh, the students I have, because I've, I've been like keywords is like, it's so fundamental to the way you run your business and everyone kind of skips over it. So we've been doing keywords for 
all the brands that we're working on. So um, both of yours, the Connect guys and um, Mystic Ved, which is this beauty brand that we're working on. Yeah. Um, we're doing keywords for all of them. Um, and so I'll actually, I'm thinking, um, I saw your, uh, your Facebook boost on the business. Cause you guys boosted the, your, you promoted your page or you promoted your business on Facebook. Uh, probably I did a yeah. bunch of things and I think Artem's been doing some stuff yeah, too. Yeah. Or yeah, so, like with most of it, it's been promoting like just the events. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. think there's, I did a page one though. Yeah. I'm there's my, one for promoting your business, which is a, like a boost. Um, and, uh, I, I, I'm rewriting it for you cause I think you're getting really good engagement, but you're not getting any clicks. Um, and so we're going to, we're going to stuff it with keywords and see if we can't. Well, then tell me what we're doing. Yeah. So, so yeah, I yeah, yeah. get it as well, because, yeah. you know, I mean, really what I should probably be doing is spending some time and going online and looking for, uh, you know, coffee shop keywords. No, no, Start I'm doing it for you. I, I'm doing it. I, I literally, I'm doing it for you. So like, I'll, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll, um, <laughs> I never started anyway. <laughs> I just wanted to sound like, you know, yeah, I could do it. <laughs> no, no, you can, you can totally do it. It's, uh, it's more, it's, it's just, um, it's kind of like it, you know, for, for the students, it's, it's basic, you know, kind of, um, it's basic marketing one-on-one, right? Like, yeah, you know, since I already know how to do it, I think we should let the yeah. students handle this. Yeah, one. yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's it. Yeah. So we, we, um, we did do it. We 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 did it for your coffee bar, and we're doing it for the coffee brand. And I'm gonna rewrite that, cool. um, that ad for you. And I'll I'll, sure, I'll send you the list so you, you have it. But uh, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, I let Rowanna know that um, you you were happy with yeah. her organic growth. Yeah, I told her that uh, you were gonna be a. Uh, Farting around with SEO yeah. keywords, all yeah. that kind of fun stuff to see yeah. if uh, if we could uh, push it yeah. a little bit farther. So. Yeah, she was yeah, pretty yeah. happy. I think she, had, she was happy. She got you know the compliments. That's awesome. So yeah, I mean, yeah, awesome. she's working hard at it. She's yeah, trying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's trying. Yeah. No, it's amazing. Yeah. So uh, you know, this week has been a keyword sort of week. Like it's um, help this guy. Um, he's a moving company, and uh, you know, again, one one of these that I don't, you know, I don't think he's gonna pay me. Like he's just he doesn't. But it it wasn't any skin off my nose. He, he happened to be sitting in on one of my classes, right? Yeah. And he was like, wait, what are these keywords and why don't I have any? So we, we actually did it as a class exercise. We pulled up his website and I went, you know, you got thick skin, right? Cause we're going to go through this. And he's like, yeah, yeah. So we went through and looked at um, his site and then looked at um, two of his competitors, like his closest competitors and basically um, figured out how to, um, write enough keywords to get him on par with the, with the other two. In so terms what keywords of, would you use in his industry? Like what were you, what were you trying to do? Yeah. So <laughs> in his industry, we we're looking at, um, you know, like, so really simply like he's, he's called convenient mover moving services in Toronto. Okay. Like that's, that's what his name is. Convenient moving services. But when you look up, um, you know, kind of the first exercise is, is to kind of take off your business hat and think, if I'm a consumer, what would I do? What would I look up, right? I would look up moving companies, moving services, moving into Toronto, moving out of Toronto. Right. And so when I did those four searches, he didn't show up anywhere on the map, like nowhere, right? And he was like, oh, I thought I was winning because when you put, type in convenient moving service, and I said, you're winning your own name, which- Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's, a, that's a really specific <laughs> yeah, search. You should win, but but nobody's looking for that name, right? So- the four most common searches you're not winning for. So who's yeah. winning those? And then what we do is you, you start thinking about what words do people use, right? When they're looking for those things and you start, those are what we would call keywords. Like it seems really, um, it seems very straightforward and it seems very, you know, whatever, right? Like that's common sense. But if you don't write them down, what happens is when you go to write your marketing material, you don't use those words, you use right. other words, right? Right. And that's the problem, right? Is, is everyone uses other words except for those kind of critical right. words. Um, and then that, that causes Google to go, oh, well, you're known for other things. You're not known for these words. Right. Um, and so then we went through his <clears throat> competitors to see what are they using, right? And then, you know, we, what you, it gets really nerdy because you go, all right, so 
uh, one of the guys is actually called Toronto Movers, and yeah. um, I was going through their stuff and literally counting how many times they say moving in Toronto or Toronto Movers, right? And right. like Toronto came up like eight times, right, in their descriptors. And I said, look, you don't have it anywhere in your stuff. So if someone's looking for moving in Toronto, who's going to pull up faster? He is, because he's got eight of those Torontos in there somewhere. He had Toronto, right. he had the right, six, right, right, right. he had the GTA, you know, and so on and so forth. So, you know, it becomes this mathematical exercise where you start checking vocabulary and going, what did you say? And he said, well, you know, like he's got a descriptor that says, we really value our customers and we hope you really love your home. And that's great. That's really emotional. But if you take that yeah, out of the No word in there that's, yeah. that's specific yeah, yeah. to anything. See, yeah. we're really fortunate with the Drive coffee bar yeah. because commercial drive is called the drive. Yeah, the drive. Right, yeah. so the drive is nomenclature. Yeah. So if someone says, what are you doing this weekend? Where would you want to go? Let's just yeah. check out the drive. Check out the drive. So if you yeah. type in the drive or start yeah. typing it, we're probably going to come up pretty yeah. fast. Yeah. And the drive is what yeah. commercial drive is called by the business yeah. association. It's yeah. the drive. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. So I mean, we're kind of lucky that way. Yeah. So, yeah. so yeah. if I'm doing, when I'm doing my posts, because a lot of times I'll put, I'll put our address in just yeah. to remind people. So 1670 commercial drive, commercial yeah. drive, commercial drive. Like I'm, yeah. it's always commercial drive, commercial drive, the drive. Yeah. That's, that's what you're saying. So that even yeah. in posts. Yeah. Yeah. So you, you want to do that, but then what, what you also do is once you get those keywords, um, you take it into what they call a keyword planner. So um, Google is a really great one. Um, all these are free. You can get paid ones too, but the free ones are really good. So you take it in a Google planner and you go, okay, Google, like, look at, tell me, oh my God, my phone just went off because I said, okay, Google. Um, that's <laughs> hilarious. That's uh, scary. <laughs> but, um, but what you do is you start running your keywords through the planner. So the planner will tell you who else is, like how many searches do those words show up for? So you start ranking your own words, right? So you go, these are all important, but planner will tell me how many, like who searches for all these words. And so, yeah. Uh, it, no, you go through your Google ad store. So you know how you have Google ads Gosh, and then, okay. yeah. So once you go through there, what happens is you start to look at it and go, all right, so who's searching for what, right? Like who's, who's searching? What's the highest search term? Is it cappuccino? Is it coffee? Is it the drive? Is it, you know, blah, blah, blah. You start ranking all your words. And then if you go further over, it actually tells you who's bidding on those words. So you can actually see, it won't tell you who paid for the words, but it'll right. tell you what's the minimum they pay for the keyword and what's the highest they're willing to pay for the keyword. And then, so now you start to figure out like, like in your area, the ad, uh, ad grow, ad, ad grow, ad grow coffee. Um, there's three of them that, that show up like, all the time because they're bidding on your words uh, or they're not your words, but they're bidding on words. Yeah. Um, I'm curious so, to see which words. I'm curious now that well, since you're doing like what, what words, like what are they bidding on? Uh, let's see here. So the drive coffee keywords. Let me show you actually. Um, we, um, as usual, we didn't plan this, but, um, but for the audience, we're jumping into like, our usual. Kind of the basics of SEO and kind of our usual wandering into some. So I started, so the search terms I started with, East Vancouver Coffee, uh, Coffee East Van, Vancouver Coffee, Best Coffee East Vancouver, uh, Best Coffee Bar East Van. So I stayed away from the drive because the drive is kind of obvious to me is that you're going to win those. So I was trying to find like other places. Uh, you know what? Though? And I'll tell you lose. something. Not for yeah. anything. Mm -hmm. Careful with that. And I'll tell you why. Yeah. There are, you know, whether it's 20, 21, 22 coffee shops on the drive. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. So if anybody else is using them, yeah, which I'm assuming they would be, yep. is, you know, we could get, I mean, we're in a massively competitive freaking yep. little street. Yeah. Yeah. Little yeah, Italy yeah. might be kind of fun. Yeah. Because yeah. I know, you know, when tourists come to town, that is a popular thing. People yeah. look for Chinatown, little Italy, little India. Yeah. Um, you know. Korea town, like people yeah. like the ethnicity parts for food. Yeah. That might be something interesting too. Yeah. 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 So, so these are the search terms I looked up. Yeah. The ones that came up um, 
you know, these the, guys are roasters, you know? Yeah. yeah. So all of these, these three consistently in all of these yeah. terms up above every time they yeah, popped up, not right? Surprising. Not surprising. And so I, I said, okay, well we're going to, you know, so we're going to go through some of their stuff and figure out what they're saying that makes them rank. Um, you know, so as we're adjusting, as we're adjusting copy for you or writing new socials for you, we're going to, we're going to use, we're going to try and negate some of their SEO presence by, by using the similar words or the same. Right. Words. Right. Um, you know, so that if they use, if they use specialty coffee eight times, we're going to try and do the same. So that helps us negate their ability to outrank, right. you. um, you know, and so, so these three guys we we're going to look at, uh, we hadn't, we did look at on the same street. So Cafe du Soleil, JJ Bean and Prado. Um, there's a lot on that street, but those were the three that kind of popped up. In really? S so Milano yeah. and Turks did it pop up? Not so much. No, I so knew, I knew Milano's because we've talked about them before. Right. But, um, they didn't really pop up from an S. And Continental did it either. Mm -mm. No. Wow. That's interesting. No. Yeah. Yeah. That's and honestly, that's, that's very interesting. Yeah. And then, so what I did is, so I went through this and I, I started to look at especially coffee. Uh, like these were all the words. So I carved these from your, uh, your pages. And then also from these guys, all three from of those guys. Mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. So I started looking at all these words and then I started to look and then, so these are what we would call keywords or short tail words. Um, so they're literally right. like little descriptors that kind of describe who you are. Um, and so anytime what you want to be able to do with these words is when you write a paragraph, you write it naturally. And then you would go back through the paragraph and go, what did I say there that I could substitute for a word on this list? And then you would, right. you know, substitute out, right? Because that's, that's kind of how you, you jam your kind of stuff with keywords. Um, and then I started to, I've just started on the long tail stuff for you. Um, but, yeah. uh, but that'll round up. So I okay, did this. You gotta send this to me because you know what I can do? Oh, I yeah. can go back and, and yeah. edit a few of the ones that, you know, that you guys may not get. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And then, right. and then I did this. Tell me I have it. I think this is you. Okay. So this is kind of an eye chart. So let me just format this a little bit. Okay. So this is, yeah. So no, this is, and this is, um, this is an extract from the keyword planner. I'll show you that in a second since we're in here anyway. Yeah. But what you would do is, so here I'm now I'm in keywords. I'm looking at what people are searching. So this column C is what an average user, like this is someone going into Google and searching for things and Google right. logging, how many average monthly searches. So it's, it's currently sorted in the order that I put in the words. Um, you can only right. put in They're 10. Not, not high though, eh? No, no. So I'm going to now sort it. Um, so if I do that with it, now you've got like, so restaurants, food, Starbucks come up the highest. Coffee. Um, coffee dessert was really high. Um, cakes was really high. Um, and so, see, one so, thing, you know, there's yeah. a few things that you, you may not know. Like, for yeah. example, if you want vegan, you can put yeah. on ours because okay. we the Cartems donuts, which are the hottest donuts in this city, Cartems, yeah. C A R T E M S, yeah, uh, rank all over the place. Okay, and are the ones we carry gluten free vegan, and people do like that because there's not a lot of vegan options, obviously, in a donut that tastes any good. Okay, and Cartems um, tastes really good uh car temps did so i just saw so, turks there yeah. i saw milano i thought you went through yeah oh yeah, car yeah temps this, may this not, is not we're, we're, see, like, we're the only coffee shop on the drive okay that has car temps. oh interesting yeah huh. okay so we should it doesn't sound like a lot but that is <clears throat> you know they've got nothing but media the last couple of years right so that might be yeah. something interesting yeah See, now that you do this next then i start thinking too like we carry like Grotta del formaggio products oh right right, right? yeah and so the deli those out. Is, yeah. is iconic on the drive okay okay yeah right. so we so should I mean, not to, not to tell you what to do but because there's some no, things no. not yeah, yeah. yeah is yeah okay yeah. yeah we have that like yeah you know I mean, but, where's wraps? Yeah, but so, wraps so that's high this list? wraps should come up pretty high, I think. Oh, wraps don't come up at all. I'm surprised. Wrap, wrap. 
Wait, am I in the wrong? I spell it. Oh, you got to yeah. be careful where you're. No, yeah, it didn't come up. No That's word. interesting. Yeah. So we so, carry wicked wraps from La Grotta del Formaggio. So here's so here's the thing. So this is the search. This is average right. uh, people going into Google searches, and then here um, is minimum bid and then highest bid. So E is minimum bid. So what yeah, people will you're, bid you're on gonna put a lot for a really Correct. vague. That's a problem, with, and this is what you wanted. Like yeah. I mean, that's what I always thought you wanted to do is yeah. find some more unique ones that get relevance and they don't cost yeah. as much. Yeah. Like why would you know? But to buy food, like really. Well, well, but here's the thing is, so what you can do, so that is one thing you can do with this. The other thing you can do with this is figure out, you know, like Starbucks, for example, right? People yeah. actually search on Starbucks. So do you write, sometimes a good strategy is to write adjacent copy. So, you know, it's almost like you're never going to outbid Starbucks on Starbucks, no. right? But if you get mentioned in the same phrase with Starbucks, now you're in the same, now you're you know, now you're starting to use their SEO for your benefit. Well, exactly. You know what I mean? Um, and so there are moments in here where you go, like, so so for that um, page promotion that you're doing. Two blocks um, north of Starbucks, two blocks north of Starbucks. Two right, blocks north exactly, of Starbucks. right. And so you could literally go two bucks north of Starbucks. Um, are, you, are you tired of making coffee at home? Come in and get some dessert or cake. Uh, with your, and I think some great food, recipes for you, know? you on, you know, yeah, blah, yeah. Blah, blah. or, or, you know, get cake <laughs> yeah, with yeah. your cappuccino. Right. You and all of a sudden, this one too. yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But, but all of a sudden now you've jammed your whole thing with keywords. Right. Yeah. And so now you start to, you know, you start to move up in the rankings and yeah. You know, so yeah. Yeah. No, I totally value. get it. I totally get what you're doing. Yeah. Now. yeah. So that's like, literally this is the basics of search engine. So, so you know, the thing is uh, though, see, I, I, I know this. Yeah. But I would never do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know why? Because a lot of it be just the time. I'm just looking yeah. at it thinking, yeah. Jesus, it's so much nicer to have kids do this for me. Yeah. Well, it's it's also it's counterintuitive too, right? Because like old world marketing is how <laughs> nice can you write something that strikes the emotional chord, right? And then but SEO is is about Right. Write the best thing that you can write in your language. And then we are going to stuff the shit out of it with, you know, words that people are looking for. Right. Well, if that's so, what they're looking for. You know, then yeah. Why would I, I mean, I love the Starbucks yeah. thing. Yeah. Two blocks North of Starbucks on commercial yeah. drive. Two blocks North of yeah. Starbucks on commercial drive. Yeah. I think, I think the one I wrote for you because I, um, I'll have to find it. I took a picture. I, the students are going to laugh at me because I said, I would do this. I started writing one and it was something like, because in one of these searches, coffee, coffee machine showed up as a really high search term. And really? I said, so I, I think the, the one that I wrote was something like, I'm tired of getting ordinary coffee from your coffee machine at home. Um, you know, come to, you know, come to the drive um, for, for fresh, espresso with uh, coffee and dessert or cake, um, you know, or something like that. But again, like just, you know, jamming in the, the yeah. keywords. So anyway. So I know um, is this, this, this is, this is the ranking it spit out and right. what's the, what's the area? What's the parameter on this? Um, this it's just an advanced search is Vancouver. What yeah. Is so it's Vancouver only. Yeah. Yeah. And um, car temps never came up on, on a coffee no, type of search. No. Yeah. I'm really surprised. Um, or donuts. If you guys are like the users out there and, and I'll show you too. So I'm going into ads, um, Google ads. So this is kind of the, the planner um, where you would get to. So Google ads, the home looks like this, right? So it's like this big grid here. Yeah. Um, and then what you would do is go up here into tools. Yeah. And keyword planners right there. Yeah. Okay. And then just find new keywords and then you can enter keywords or like in my case, I had a bunch so I could go, I could literally do this and go copy paste. Oh, but like game, um, what, 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 you did, what, what area did you uh, set the parameter for? Uh, no, no, I'll show you that. I'll oh, show okay. you that. So, so I'm going to do this. So I'm, let's say I drop these and then it'll tell you, ah, you're too excited. You picked too many. So I'm going to pull out. Um, so you know what? Humor me. Put car Thames in. Okay. Uh, C-A-R. C-A-R-T-E-M-S. T-E-M-S. Okay, you got it. So let's get started. And then you'll see it kind of defaults to an area here. So I'm going to just set that. I'm going to X out the U.S. And then I'm going to put in um, Vancouver. 
I'm going to put in Vancouver first. So you'll see it's, it's three and a half million, yeah, right? That's fine. Um, so we're going to, we're going to pick that and then I'll, I'll try East Van, but I don't believe it comes up. East Van. It doesn't. Okay, then if, um, yeah, you can try. Um, I wonder how small it gets. So I go Burnaby. Burnaby so it'll do Burnaby. Burnaby. Yeah, I mean, it'll you can do try Burnaby. commercial drive and see what happens. Uh, it's probably too small. Might be too small. What's uh, is there a municipality nearby you? Grandview Woodlands is what okay. um, our area is called. That might work. I mean, it's smaller than East Vancouver though. Grandview Woodlands. No. So I mean, it would have to be. Um, it's Vancouver. That's yeah, as small so as you're gonna get. You gotta, yeah. So you gotta, you gotta keep with the Vancouver. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. So if I save that, now you've got. So, so this is exactly the Excel sheet I just did, um, yeah. except you know in in the Google format. And Cartems is um, searched a lot, like 40, 4,400 a month. Yeah. Look what um, they're paying for. It. Yeah. 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 Do you see? You know what uh, I mean, though. It's one yeah. of those ones put it in. I mean, I'll tell you what the kids yeah. put it on the sign out front and we sell out every day. Yeah. I mean, want to know we have it. That's, that's a neat. So that's one that we should be using. Yeah, that's one. That's definitely yeah. one that we should, that we should be. I mean, it'd be interesting to type in La Grotta del Formaggio. I mean, I don't know. Okay. It's a long one and I get it, but same thing. What are people looking for in these fans? I mean, they have, there's more sandwiches or panini. La. Uh, grotto. Grotta. Grotta. Yeah. Del yeah. Formaggio. F O R M A G G I O. Okay. Yeah, put panini. Yeah. Or put, uh, um, I don't know, do you put Italian sandwich? Uh, let's, take out, let's take out that one. We know it's good. We take out that one and let's put in Italian sandwich. Sure. I don't know. So we got to spell sandwich right there. <laughs> I get to criticize a little bit, right? No, I do that all the time. I, I think uh, I think the students, if they could type for me, they just would, you know. Um, okay, so let's see if La Grotto, La Grotto is really low. Yeah, it's low. Three twenty. Yeah, Italian, Italian sandwich, sandwich is, is really low too. Yeah, yeah. So on this list, related searches. Look at that. So restaurant still comes up. Restaurant near me. So this which, which I understand, and those ones are those ones are a little bit tougher. I like yeah, because they're too. First, we're not a restaurant, yeah. so it's a little tougher. I mean, really, the one I love, I love the Starbucks, I love the coffee. I mean, coffee shops near me, obviously, that would work. But look, food near me, food 30, near me, thirty three thousand. Yeah, like, that's it's, probably it's a little. A lot, it's a but, lot, you know. Geez. Yeah, uh, yeah, but you know why? Because I'm I'm the one who types in food food near me all the time when yeah. I, every city I'm in. Yeah, me too. Me right, too. every city. Like I yeah. like the Starbucks one more than anything. Look, car temps though. Look how high. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, so we should. Yeah, I mean, so anyway, this is how you use it. So one is you use it for the words, so you can stuff it. Two is you can use it to figure out what people are paying for things, yeah. um, and then, and then whether you want to bid against them. So if you're trying to figure out a marketing budget, you can use this top of page to figure out how much you might. I think need we to just pay. leverage the shit out of what they have. Yeah. That's the third usage. Two blocks for north of Starbucks. Yeah. Selling car Thames donuts. <laughs> yeah. 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 And then, and then the last one is if you, you know, the, the place that Kenny and I went first because we're creative types is um, you use the list as, as your idea, ideation list, right? So we both immediately, as soon as we started looking at the list, started formulating ideas based on the search pattern, right? Like we've well, already come up with like eight different things of like things that we could do. Yeah. And so if you're, if you're stuck on social media and you don't know what to recreate, um, you don't know what content to make, this is a good place to draw inspiration because all of these terms people are looking for. So if you create against it, you're going to get searches. And, um, and do smart. Like, you know, coffee shops near me doesn't sound like you can use. Yeah. I'm always looking for coffee shops near me. Yeah. I only find yeah. Starbucks. Yeah. Is yeah. there anything else on the drive that yeah. sells cool items like Car Thames Donuts? Yeah. yeah. Help me find a coffee shop near me. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no. Yeah. See, so you're... Anyway, so that's keywords. So I've been doing this like all week. But I, I kind of... Shit, I'm going back into the post right now. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love okay, it. Okay, do me a favor. Okay, since you're there, type in... Yeah. Uh, 
uh, go. Let's go type an open mic. Oh my God! Now Kenny's Kenny's lost. Okay, so well, now I've got you working for me. For yeah, free. you got I'm it. I'm loving you it. it. You got it. Okay. Uh, open oh. mic. Um, local artists. Wait, wait. No, uh, separate, separate terms, right? Two okay. Separate. Yeah. Because we're doing. I mean, we've had look. We've had. You know, we've we've adorned our walls. I've told you for since yeah. the day. Since the day the bar has been opened, that bar has had local artists on those walls for free every month. Mm, no, local artists is really low. short, really, really low. Isn't open mic low. Uh, really low. Yeah. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But it ranks above Italian sandwich though. That's because these people are stupid. They don't know what the hell they're looking for. <laughs> Type an Italian deli. <laughs> Once again, down the street from the best Italian deli in East Vancouver. Actually, you should type in East Vancouver. Because East Van people are very, very, you know, East Van. Like people in East Van are very East Van. Okay, hold on. It's going to make me take stuff out. So let me take out. We know, we know these ones. Yeah, we know that we'll, one. We'll stop abusing Italian sandwich. East fan. Okay, let's see what we got. So I could do this all night now. You know, that's a problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, so as you guys are, so if you guys are using this, um, as you sort, you can click on these to sort. But if you want to see, like, we're, we're targeting certain words now, make sure that you click back on keywords so it'll sort it in the order that you've put it in. So you can see here, coffee, cartems, open mic. And so you coffee, coffee, cartems, local, open mic, right? So... Um, just make sure you're doing that or you're going to wonder why, like, cause if I hit this again, you won't see those, right? Cause, um, you know, all of this is stuff. Look, Vancouver weather. Let's all talk tie. about Vancouver. And Vancouver's yeah. obsessed with the weather. But, but what a great tie though. What a great tie. Like we could, we I, could you know what I used to do, shit, buddy? Right? I do it this so, way. Yeah. Every, every week someone puts out what to do on the weekend, what to do on the yeah. weekend. Yeah. Hey, if the weather's the shits, come into the bar, yeah. have your coffee, plan your day. Da, da, da. I always write stuff like that, but yeah. I do the weather because I didn't even think of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so. Look at these East Van East and East Van. Vancouver. Yeah. Not higher than a, they're higher Five than Italian. Down. They're higher than coffee. Yeah. Higher, higher than, than coffee, coffee roaster. Yeah. Best coffee. Well, huh. best coffee is surprisingly low. I know. Hmm. And people are bidding on it. Look at that. 170 searches and somebody's bidding five bucks. Why? I don't know. Right? But wow. Plus nobody would type in best coffee. You know what if you think about it? It's so subjective. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But if you were yeah. coming to Vancouver, you might type in, you know, what's all this talk about East Van? East yeah. Vancouver. Yeah. Like that's gonna be a more popular search. Yeah. That's yeah. interesting though. I mean, there's a lot of low rankers, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But anyway, so this is keywords. This is how this is how keywords works. If you're doing SEO, this is where you start. You always start here, um, you know. And then like so so my Google AdWords. Yeah, like last week we were talking about, um, you know, we're we're talking uh, about the eczema company, right? Um, right. And uh, and like writing better ads. And yeah. so literally, I'm I'm going through her ads. Um, I, I, she has a list of keywords that somebody made for her, but she does not use them. Yeah. So I'm literally going through her ads to stuff them with keywords, um, so that her ads are going to perform better, right? Because they're going to come up in more searches and all that kind of stuff. So, and you so think about it, her. like of, of any, yeah. like when you start talking eczema, eczema yeah. relief, psoriasis, psoriasis yeah. relief, those got to be highly searched. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like have to be highly searched. Yeah. And that's what I was saying before. So like, if you wanted to go into Montreal, you know, because it was a La Presse article or a Quebec yeah. city, like pick a couple of the biggest cities, yeah. just hammer the shit out of the cities. Yeah. She's picking up listings. eh? Yeah. Oh, is she? Yeah. I, I think, um, I think Katu might've wanted him or that's amazing. A couple of the natural health. Stars. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. yeah it's be, it's she's so awesome. excited. It's, 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 yeah. it's just such a, it's such a great story. And yeah. again, it's all these little ones, good people. It's good when good things happen to good people. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. No, I love it. I love, I love it. it too. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, that's that's my week. I've I've been SEOing all week. You know. I gotta go. I I've got to go into AdWords now. Yeah. I, I there's there's a geeky. It's definitely the geek in me, but I love it. Like I I, just I love doing shit like that. More, I think that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. The more I build, right? Like the more like it's so intuitive. Like sometimes you you do it and people look at you funny, but then when you when you start taking apart like the moving company guy. 
Yeah. Like, you know, I took his, I took his kind of like, you know, about me and, um, you know, he, he was joking about it, but he he called me a cold, heartless bastard because I took apart his heartfelt, like, here's how we care about customers, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, it's not, I know you care about customers and you, you know, you, you want to tell them you're going to proclaim to do a good job, but you got to jam it with keywords, right? Like, <laughs> you know, he was like, but, 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 but you can still you know, do that and sound yeah. great. Yeah. I mean, you know, then write two paragraphs and yeah. write your little fluffy story. Cause that's, yeah. that's, that's all important. Yeah. But stuff the shit out of it. Like, yeah. I mean, when we see, we do that on ours because again, yeah. we're not as smart as you and we're not thinking of it that way, but there's a reason I do put commercial drive. East, yeah. I use East yeah. a lot. Yeah, there's a couple because I know what people are looking for yeah. in our city, or what I think they're looking for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, but I which don't. Is, which I, is, I like the sentence structure yeah. better. I seriously, two blocks yeah. north of Starbucks. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna be all over that one. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I love well, what the hell? Yeah. No, you. I mean, you know. Yeah, I mean, this is this is how you do, it, right? Like, this is how you start. So that's pretty know. cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's been my week. So you know. Well, it's apparently going to be my evening, so. Oh, man. Now I've got you started. Yeah, I know. Now, I, that's the problem, right? It's, 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 it's the ADD. I, I've, now I've, I've, I've got no choice. All right. That's the end of this Commerce Life. We'll be back soon with the next episode. Thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoyed it. Uh, give us feedback. Tell us what you think. Subscribe. Like us. Join us. Share us. Tell your friends about us. And uh, we hope to see you next time with, uh, with more commerce news.